Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Hello ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Welcome to the beautiful state of Utah. That's my line. Are you kidding me, bro? I got it right though, didn't I? I did really good. That was actually probably better than me. <laughs> we are of course here with James the Stradman on his driveway, but sadly, today it is time for me to depart. A bit of an airport run where you've just got the most appropriate car, a limousine Rolls Royce. 1982, baby. That's right, that's right. <laughs> Very cool, but that would be too easy. I think we should take the 430 challenge car because race car, right? Because race car, even though I've got some luggage, some cases. It just seems like the right thing yeah, to do. Yeah, it seems like the right <laughs> choice. We've got all these practical cars, but let's take the two seat race car. Before we go anywhere, here we've got the Gladiator, the 430, the GT350, the Aventador that we were skiing with, your Focus RS, and this. <laughs> Yes, the silver spur from 1982. I know it seems odd, but I'm an odd individual. Anyway, You have a very eclectic <laughs> mix of cars, because this doesn't include, at the moment, you've also got your incredibly wide-bodied uh, Pandem Supra. Yep. You've got your Gallardo. And the 4GT. And the 4GT. Yep. Mm -hmm. Wow, collection is growing. <laughs> talk, talk to me about this. Well, first take a quick look inside. As you can see, the most luxurious car you could buy in 1982. It literally is. This would have been the equivalent then of like a phantom extended wheelbase exactly. now. Yeah, which, what is that, like $500,000 nowadays? Yeah. I paid 19 grand for this, <laughs> 19 grand. And um, yeah, quite an unusual car to be uh, to be part of this. What engines it got? 6.7 liter V8. I do not know the horsepower numbers, but we just did a zero to 60 run and it wasn't very fast. It won't be making as much power as it was nearly 20, uh, 40 years ago, 40 sorry. Year, yeah, 40 years ago, isn't that crazy? Yeah. Wow. It's a bit of a slouch, but you know, Maybe we'll Hellcat swap it. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've done it before on the G. <laughs> Maybe do it on the rolls, right? Options for the future. Then we've got your Mountain Focus RS. Yes, awesome which car. Again, would be a very practical, appropriate airport run car. Eh, it would be, but eh. I mean, no. it's, it's a race car. It just yeah. makes the most sense. Honestly. So let's have a look at this then. Let's have a look at this. You've recently wrapped this thing. Yes, so it's turquoise. It's obviously red underneath, which most Ferrari enthusiasts don't like. But as you can see, it is Quite practical. Okay, that's where we're gonna be fitting the case then. I, I think it should just fit in there. I think it should fit perfectly. Absolutely. <laughs> As you do. And As we you got, do. you know, we got the you know racing seats, we got the five-point harnesses, so you'll be nice, nice and safe. We yeah, got the fire right. suppression system. Very, very safe. Everything airport you need. Shuttle car. Absolutely. This is definitely the, the most appropriate airport car you could find. We're on normal road tires. Let's yeah, we are. A bit. Yeah, exactly. So this is literally a challenge race car from the Ferrari Challenge Race Series. It is, yes. Absolutely. That's the jokes. We can open this up if you want. It's like a... It's very, very, very loud. Yes, I can imagine. Where's the exhaust system? Oh, yes, it's that, a, that, that straight it's, pipe. It's straight and true. <laughs> yeah, it's the definition of straight pipe. Yeah. Nice. Okay, okay. Well, we'll, uh, we'll get that started up in just a moment. While we're here, though, we obviously took this out and it's filthy. Sorry. Yes, apologies, but it's a Jeep. It's supposed to be, it's an off-roader. And then we've got uh, the Burlacker's GT350. Very cool car. And we've got your Aventador. Yeah. It's camo. It is, as you do. As you, this is a crazy mix of cars. It is, it is a variety. But you know, each car has like its own personality and they're all fun in their own way. Absolutely. All right then. Um, up. I think so. Let's do it, let's get this outside. cover at the moment obviously front cover it's not really a front on a race car you don't need to take luggage around a racetrack <laughs> oh no have to do it with the driveway with that front splitter but it's a race car parts are meant to get broken and replaced what? I'm sorry to all the neighbors on James's behalf oh that's better that thing is so stupidly loud. <laughs> My neighbors hate me. I thought the Aventador was loud. Like I said, and with the, the Aventador on and this on, you, you can't hear, the, hear Aventador. the Aventador. It's insane. It is I can't so believe it. loud. It's insane. Yeah, I said insane twice. Yeah, so my neighbors obviously having all this eclectic 
Scorpion cars. There was an 18 wheeler here on the cul de sac earlier yeah. with the Rolls Royce limo getting delivered. I love how yeah. you've got, you know, you got a lot of class with a Rolls Royce, Absolutely. a limo Rolls Royce. Yeah, why And then you've got a guy. like flip pearlescent 430 challenge and a camo Aventador. And a stupid big Jeep. And then the focus for my dog, and my yeah. dog hates it. But it's, <laughs> this focus is loud. I know, too. I heard it. Yeah, it's insane. Stupid, stupid car. Okay, well, um, yeah, some, some shuffling around and we'll head off shortly. Do you want me to rev it or not? I don't know. I mean, how is that coming out of the Focus RS? Mm, yeah, very loud. And it pops and crackles a lot more obviously when it's warm and you go up to the red light. That's ridiculous. Ford. Next, I say Ford, of course, Shelby, but based on the Mustang Shelby GT 350. Pulling everything out, I think, for a mini little uh, photo shoot. <laughs> oh, jokes. The satin purple army right now. Imagine what that would look like in satin purple. And this, of course, with the camo design over the top of it, and a lot of grime from the salt out on the snow when I was literally skiing behind this. We've still got the skis, the tow rope, and the boots here. But yeah, not something you do every day. I think we can uh, happily agree. Then the beauty with the Gladiator is you can just start it up with a key. So you get this moment, wait for it. It's Lambo time! <laughs> uh, the Rolls Royce is the only quiet car here. Colourful as well, lots of purple. Coming out, get the lineup going. We're going to pop the event off somewhere here, and the Rolls and the Ferrari out at the front. Coming through in all its majesty. Where would you ever see an 80s Rolls Royce limo next to a heavily modified Aventador? That is not a normal pairing in a garage. In fact, there can't be many garages in the world that have that kind of pairing. James is absolutely crazy. I guess we're going to hear this starting up again. <laughs> we pop this back on for a photo, but of course we need to take it off again. Um, let you do the honours for that. Yes. And then I will try and put my case inside here, which I think um, should just about fit. Just, it's just, perfect. just. It's like it was meant to like Almost, if we used a small shuffle. There we go, that's in. Hmm, as you do. <laughs> Too easy. Let's get my other bag inside here. This is gonna be really cozy inside a um, challenge with a bag on my uh, on my knees. Oh, we'll find a way to do it. Where there's a will, there is a way. Okay. All right. Oh. This looks very easy by nature, but it's actually extremely technical. Gonna light it up properly. There we go. Boom. Click. Perfect. This is not gonna be easy. I've got to climb in and get a bag in as well through the roll cage. Watching out for everything that's inside here into these very snug bucket seats. Oh gosh. Actually, when you're in, there's a decent amount of space. That's not bad. Yeah, that's not bad at all. In. Just gonna get my bag in. There might even be room to squeeze it like next to me. Yeah, we'll manage like that. This is ridiculous. What are we doing? Pull the door. Okay, okay. See what we're doing here? Where are my belts? Oh, they're obviously tucked down there awkwardly. That's gonna need uh, some adjustment to fiddle around and make them work. Are we four point? Yeah, you're we are. four point, I'm five point. Okay. Sorry, bro. All right, we're getting somewhere. You're just about done. I'm just about done. Harnessed up. How loud is this thing inside? Well, we're going to hear it in just a uh, second, aren't we? We should both have headphones on, but... Are we yeah. going to be able to talk? No. Probably no. not. I mean, no. It's yeah. going to be a scream. Let's yeah. see what happens. Okay. I never put it inside an hour yeah. it's loud. Okay. Yeah. This is just idle. We've got the plexiglass windows. Oh, man. In for trouble. In ready? for trouble. Yeah, I'm born ready. Let's take it out. Let's, let's head on the uh, the airport run in a Ferrari <laughs> challenge car. I mean, uh, airport runs in impractical cars are always entertaining. This is as impractical as you can get when yes. you have a garage full of practical cars. Especially a Rolls Royce Limo. That would have been perfect, but sometimes in life. Yeah, this is now getting really loud. I don't you it's loud. And we're, you're just like idling it here. Yeah. Oh, okay. Come on, Prius, we've got a tunnel here in front of us. First gear, obviously. <laughs> That's silly. Stupid. How long have you had this now? I bought it the first week of November. Okay, so, so not that long. Yeah, a couple of months old. 
traffic, no! Oh, it's no. kind of like a, a race uh, race start line. Yeah, literally. No. So you're going to do a full launch? Uh, uh, half launch, half launch. Yeah, half, half launch. launch. Wait for the green light, wait for the green, wait for the green, wait for the green. Uh, and go! Oh, jeez. Race fuel filler on this side. Is yes. this a normal filler? This is a normal I fuel pump. Easy. Yeah, just yeah, gonna. Okay, we go with normal. <laughs> You've unscrewed normal the cap, enough. so it's got. Okay, I, I get the system, the idea. It's got two different fuel systems. Wowzers! See, even that sounds good. Everything out here sounds good. Just normal ninety one. Yep. Unfortunately, that's the highest grade we have in Utah. Yeah. It's too bad. Well, no. We have a we have a different system in Europe. You do indeed. Ninety one over here is the equivalent. I believe of 95 in Europe or something like that. Maybe 93, 95. Something like that. Yeah. yeah. This is Octane, not Ron. R O N. They are different scales. Yeah. This color in the sunshine, it sick. pops. It pops very, very, very brightly green. Turquoise. You struggling there? Yeah. Kind of. It's a bit of a challenge. Well, I have to like jam it into the fuel tank. Yeah. Otherwise, it'll stop fueling. Yeah. Otherwise, it clicks off. Yeah. It's like a sequence. 30 challenge. That's what we're rocking here. Uh, you can squeeze some luggage behind you. Oh, absolutely. It's very, very practical. Yeah, very practical. Extremely practical. Forgot my case was up front. <laughs> that's right. That's not for a good bag. Jokes. Let me drop you off. That would be a small problem. If I come back around, I've forgotten my case. You wouldn't hear your phone ring. No, I wouldn't. No Bluetooth in here. They didn't when need to fit that. Whenever I drive this car, somebody always calls me. I'm like, yeah. are you kidding me? Yeah. But obviously, they weren't trying to equip Bluetooth in a race car. Exactly. Well, I need to remember to get my case yes, from the front. That's going to be a, a good bit of fun. I am flying with American, although I'm already checked in, so we can just kind of skip and go anywhere, I guess. Speed bump? Or we're going to about to have a massive scrape. Oh, well, we're good. No, we're fine. That was easy. Yeah, Your car isn't impractical enough. Next time we need to bring something else. Perfect. This will work. Oh, this'll wow. This will do indeed. Neutral. Off. Belt buckles undone. Put the easy does it. Yeah, no easy does deal. indeed. Oi, oi, oi. Right, now I've got to start the uh, mission to climb on out of here, which is going to be a case of bag out. Oh, it's caught on something. Typical, typical, typical bag out. And then whoa, squeeze on out. Okay, managed, managed. That wasn't easy. Close the door. Oh, don't worry, sir. Let me just take the hood off the Ferrari. <laughs> Your attention, please. Terminal As she did. <laughs> Oh, that's ridiculous. Normal things, hey? Normal things. 
and all done. Just like that. Nice there and easy. Go. Easy Uber, right? Easy the Uber. Best Uber you've ever had. The best Uber. You're getting five stars. You're definitely <laughs> getting five stars. This has been an amazing trip out here to Salt Lake City. Skiing behind the Lambo, airport drop off in the 430 challenge, and your new Rolls Royce. The most random of random. I know. Literally. I know. You gotta come back soon though, because we got more random stuff coming to the vlog near you. 100%. Guys, if you're not already subscribed to the Stradman, do head over and give James a follow. Um, to see more of that Rolls Royce as well. But now though, I guess I'm going to see you later. Safe travels, dude. Thanks very much, man. See you, man. It's been awesome. Yeah. Have a good one. It is time to get our ears blown off again then. The start up of this silly, silly, silly thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what an amazing trip out here. Big, big thanks to James. I've had a lot of fun. Let's look at that. Race car amongst normal traffic. Cruising on out from Salt Lake City Airport. Awesome, awesome. What an amazing trip. I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video as we get the noise of that in the background. A little bit of a garage update with Stradman and then driving to the airport. In the least sensible car to ever drive to an airport. That is it for this time though. Thank you very much for watching guys. I'll see you again very soon. Cheers.